huge emotional moment, not for just me, but for my family, for uh, my university. Um, I mean, anybody who's, who's coached me or my, my friends and family, I mean, it was just very, very emotional moment, um, incredible, you know, surreal moment for me. Um, you know, just indescribable, I would say. You know, for me, you know, it was just my brother and I, and we, we were going through life and going overseas and, you know, doing and going all these different places. And so it was something, it, you know, it was from my little window going through it. But now I've watched him grow up. And I watched the, you know, the, the sweat and time and effort he puts into what he does and, and, and everything he does. And then just to see him totally succeed going to college senior year, totally succeed with rushing yards and catches and everything else. It's just, man, it's just super, super proud moment for, for a dad, for, for me being his father, to see him do that, see him accomplish that. And, and now, you know, take the phone call and take the next step to be a professional athlete. Pretty cool, man. What has the uh, feedback been like from the wrestling community? We know that's such a brotherhood. I imagine you've heard from everybody since the news. Yeah, I, I'm still getting texts and emails, guys calling. You know, of course, you know, Animal Son was a tremendous, tremendous standout. Um, and, and he was drafted from, I forgot what school he went to. But it, don't, it, don't, it don't matter. It, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> don't matter. But anyway, no, you know, so, I mean, just, you know, two dads talking, me and Emma, who would have thought Road Warriors and Steiners, I, two boys go to throw NFL, but, um, you know, it was just a proud time to sit with Joe and give me some of the experiences and things he's gone through with his son and, and for his son, James, just to explain, hey, this is, you know, give my son some pointers and it, it Man, it's just a really cool time. And then, you know, you got guys like Goldberg who played in the NFL at Atlanta, and you got all these other guys that were on there. And I'm just getting a host of, uh, like, texts and emails. A guy just congratulating me, proud of my son, proud of his accomplishments. And, and it really makes me feel good, you know. Bronson, who was your favorite wrestler growing up? These two? Uh <laughs> Got it, uh, I'd probably, I'd probably say Goldberg was up there. Um, you know, I, I loved uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin too. Um, but I kind of, uh, I have a relationship with with Goldberg, and you know, I've talked, I talked to him here and there, and he's actually reached out to me and congratulated. And, and yeah, he was giving me some pointers and things like that, and some advice, and you know, he just wanted me to know he was, he's in my corner, and uh, you know. Super cool moment because, you know, I mean, I mean, I, I, at the end of the day, I mean, I'm a fan of, you know, I mean, and then to make it, of, and then make, he makes a connection with them, like <laughs> two things that they are going to get, you know, uh, it, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's 